And now to the battle against COVID. The vaccine push continues across Southern California, but the pace is slow. The Bloomberg vaccine tracker shows California now ranks last when it comes to getting available shots into people's arms. KKL 9's Rachel Kim shows us how things are progressing today. There was continuous foot traffic to get a shot in the arm at the Crenshaw Christian Center in South LA today. It's one of several city run COVID vaccination sites. The mayor said they ran out of vaccine doses yesterday as LA County residents 65 and over joined the group of people eligible to get the vaccine. But today, unbelievable. We just walked in, got a shot and left. Things seem to be going a lot more smoothly. Nancy Durrani brought her 91 year old mother, Helen. I just wanted to make sure that she's um, healthy, you know, people, they want to come and see her. So we just did it and it was just very organized. Albert Lobenstein and his wife got appointments today with some patients and the help of their son. The first time we went on, we were unable to get any appointments. And uh, then he called us back and said appointments are now available. Today, LA County health officials reminded residents that they are very constrained with a limited number of doses. The LA County Health Department's chief science officer said if they received 500,000 vaccine doses each week, they would have the potential to reach 75% of the adult population by midsummer. However, if the flow of doses into the county remains at the current level of approximately 150,000 doses per week, the vaccination effort will likely extend well into 2022. Dr. Simon says the pace of vaccinations depend on the quantity of doses they receive each week. Over at least the next week and possibly longer, we will also be greatly challenged because a significant portion of our weekly shipments will need to be used for second doses, which will leave a smaller percentage for first doses. Health officials hope the new federal administration will boost vaccine production and shipments to California and ultimately to LA County. We are also hopeful that several other vaccine manufacturers will receive federal authorization for emergency use of their vaccines in the coming months. Meantime, Dr. Simon is urging people to be as patient as possible given their limited vaccine supply. 75 year old Rosalind Dale told us she's grateful she got her shot today. I feel it's necessary for all of us to get it so we can protect each other and ourselves. Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News. The state has reported a record number of deaths in a single day, 764, but signs of hope as case numbers and hospitalizations continue to go down. Now, here's a look at Southern California. Again, case numbers are trending downward. LA County reported another 9,200 cases and 256 deaths. Hospitalizations are down to about 7,000.